Hello guys and welcome to a brand new mod pack. This is one I was looking forward to for a couple weeks now. It is C Block Rustic Waters and this one is hosted on the Breakfast Craft servers. If you are interested in playing some Minecraft, you need to be 18 years of age or older and apply. It is whitelisted, but Breakfast Craft has been around for at least seven years that I know of. So they're a long lasting community and we're a great bunch of people to play Minecraft with. So woo, this is Rustic Waters and I've been watching a few people play and it is time for me to give it a go myself. So I have just logged in. As you can see, all I have are the things you start out with and the apples and whatnot that were littered on the floor. And we're going to get going. All right. Now, this does have Twitch integration. Um, that's what one, one of these uh, things talks about. But I don't know if it works with on servers. I think it only works with single player. I could always check and find out, but if I do, you guys could participate. So I'm, I'm just going to find out before I do this. Um, now, for those of you guys who just subscribed, yeah, what this does, if I'm able to use it, is that every time you guys send me hosts or subs or bits, whatever's conf whatever I configure it for here, it will give me money to use in game or it could be really bad for me and give me crocodiles to have to fight. So we're going to see. We're going to see if I can do this even though it's on a server. So we're going to, I'll find out. I don't know. So yeah. <laughs> we're going to see. But here we are. We're in a box underwater. If you don't know anything about the C block. Oh, I've got some coral in mine there. Look at that. Hi, Darkwing. Um, so it is a questing pack. It is progression based. It is unique. And um, I, I don't see anything around me that is interesting. There's water all, all the way to build height. So there's no actual ground. Look like there's a meteor. I've got a meteor right there, but I'm not really seeing anything else. Um, how, how da la. We have a little bit of visibility for a time. I don't see anything. We're gonna be, we're gonna be exploring. Oh, too far up. All right, so yeah, we have a penguin. I don't think he does anything. So whatever happens to him happens to him, okay? Woo. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Let's open up this quest book and do some reading together. All right. It's very pretty, very pretty. Look at all of the questing chapters. Very organized, very nice. Very happy about that. Um, in the introduction, we've already accomplished one. So the first step will introduce you to some of the basic concepts of this pack. Completing it will grant you your first hub expansion key, which will provide you more space to operate in. You will learn how to manage your hunger, temperature, and gather basic resources. Well, then he'll escape. So here's the first one. Welcome to Sequest DSV, a small underwater hub where you'll spend a majority of your time going forward. Your goal is to test the capabilities of sustaining life in this harsh environment and eventually escape this oceanic world. Take this wetsuit as a meager bit of protection until you find better, if you survive that long. Yay. So let's... Let's put this little wetsuit on. It gives us a little bit of protection from something. So, yeah. All right, and so we have a few that we can do here. So we'll need to read some of those. Something for nothing. I don't think any of the rest of these. Um, looks like, okay, that's locked. That one is unlocked. So I'm going to be going around from from chapter to chapter just trying to see which ones I can achieve at a time. The Let's Plays that I've watched, 
one of them just did everything in the introduction first and then broke out and the other one it's been hard to really follow i think what they've been working on but i think i'll be happier if i kind of mix it up and do lots of different selections different things oh geez creative stuff <laughs> trophy room that's kind of cool awesome look at that okay we are going to start the start in the introduction because clearly that's where i'm going to need to start but um chopping the bottom block of a tree with an axe will cause the entire tree to be felled keep in mind that if you have shears in your toolbar the tree will also be automatically sheared if you need saplings make sure to place your shears in your inventory or chest you can also craft saplings and you can twerk woo so we need to get ourselves a wooden axe which means chopping this tree down so let's harvest um it says full grown why can't i harvest you fine give me all your it, it i tried right click and it wasn't right click at harvesting so we're just gonna take you all and there he goes he went into the water and rip chili willy you're gonna be dead some shark is gonna eat him <laughs> Okay, so I have, I did, I have step assist on. Let's not have that on. All right. We're gonna collect all of this. I don't think it'll fell when you punch it. I think you have to have the right tool. Uh, so I did want to make a quick announcement. I'm only gonna stream until noon. So it's a two hour stream. I did not sleep very well. My brand new neighbors next door, like as in they moved in Wednesday, like to play music really, really late. Like I woke up at 2.30 and 3.30 and 4.30. I called um, the apartment security number at 3.30 and 4.30 and 5.30 to no answer. So that made me angry. Um, yeah, loud enough music that when I stood outside my door, my you know apartment door you could hear their music clearly in their apartment from outside um so i videoed it and i sent it to the apartment manager and i'm like yeah not good oh that i'm gonna have to um i'm used to or excavator so i just clicked the uh tilde key to bring up the quests <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to have quite a talk with the apartment manager because if their brand new tenants aren't going to be respectful of, I mean, we already have enough problems with the people who live below us. They like to listen to their music at all fun hours of the night, but uh, now they'll get one warning according to our lease. This is how it goes. They'll get one warning. And then if it gets called, if it gets reported again, um, which the security is usually the people who do the, the reporting, you know, you complain to the security and then they report it because they found the problem or whatever. Um, but I think my video will count, I hope, because security didn't freaking answer the phone. And I, even when I emailed, I complained that they didn't answer. Um, <laughs> Um, if it counts, then they will get their first warning only three days after living here. And when, if you get a second one, that you get fined. And if you get a third one, you within three months you get evicted. I mean, they don't put up. It's they don't put up with it. It's yeah. So, mm -hmm. if you get your first noise complaint within the first three days of living here, that's that tells me you are either clueless about living in shared housing like apartment complexes or you just don't care. 
and I'm grumpy because of it. But we're gonna try to have fun here. So <laughs> let's do this and see if I can make, yep, I can do a craft table. Does it have a, ooh, a work, keeps its inventory, yes please. And I don't wanna do it over near the water. We're gonna put our stuff over here and let's make our ax. So we have an ax. Can we make a, I don't wanna to try to craft a lit. Can we make a chest or is there something fancy? We need a trader's workshop. Okay, so no, <laughs> no, not yet. But we do get 24 cobblestone and a bucket. Woo. Shears, furnace, let's do the shears. Your hub is equipped with four expansion controllers. Um, one in each wall. At different points, you will receive hub expansion controller keys that will allow you to select one of the controllers to activate, expanding your hub in that direction. You can always build onto your hub manually as well. Bonsai pots are not craftable, but you can acquire more on the Guild Trades tab and Sea Merchants. Okay, Ooh, we get two hopping bonsai pots as a reward though. So we need to make some oakwood shears. Shears. Um, Oakwood shears. We need this. We can do that. <laughs> okay. Great. Two hopping bonsais. Yeah, y'all. Um, let's put those here and here next to it, maybe. And we'll put a chest under it eventually. Um, so what I want to do is pick up you and put a sapling. There we go. We got our first tree growing. Um, I'll leave these for now because I'd like to grow them and get some leaves. Come on, there we go. All right, so I have shears in my inventory. I have 11 saplings, so I'm not concerned about losing my saplings, but we'll get these chopped down. It'll give us a whole bunch of leaves. All right, and we're gonna place Let's do it up high. That's not high, but we'll see if this will work. I grew a bonsai tree. Does it not? Mm -mm. Okay, yep, that is too close. So let's try to go one higher. Okay, that'll work. Um, let's do that. And I would like an apple tree. Can I make an apple tree? Because I don't know, how do you make those apple sprouts? Can you make them? No. Small chance of dropping golden apples. That's kind of cool. But I can probably do a Pam's one. Let's find out. Pam's tree is this. Yup. All right. We're going to put a Pam's tree in there. And that's going to be it for now. All right. Next. Um, furnaces. Working nine to five. To enable you to craft many of the more complex items in this pack, you will utilize specific work tables. Some of these recipes will require 
tools and a fluid catalyst. JEI will show all recipes utilizing each work table. So we need a trader's workshop. Um, trader's workshop is a workbench, some logs, and some, we've got everything we need. So let's get that knocked out. All right, and we'll put you right there. That made a dirt sound. Kind of cool. Look at that. It looks. Yep, it makes a dirt sound. That's cool. <laughs> okay. And we get a tailor's workshop. All right. Is that one we can craft? Oh, but it requires iron. So, yay, thankfully, we have one now. So, let's put that there. Ooh, and they join. Very cool. Okay. Um. Knife troubles. The farmer's work table is the first of the profession work table. I'm guessing because we don't have a farmer's work table. Um, but this is a trader's workshop. We don't have a farmer's. Yeah, I'm going to assume, since there have been changes to the pack, that he hasn't quite gone through the quest uh, text. Uh, these used to have a lower level table ver variant, and he just made it so that there's only workshops available, and maybe they changed the names. Um, each workstation requires specific tools and or a fluid catalyst. Some recipes may require higher quality tools with more durability. You can fill the table with fluids easily by right clicking them with a bucket. Okay, good to know. Uh, you will aid you in crafting things such as strainers and sluice equipment. equipment. Okay, so we need an artisan's wooden knife and a purified water bucket. Um, a wooden knife. Okay, slab and some planks. There we go. And then purified water is smelting water. Okay, so we need to make a furnace. Let's that was one of the re the quests here. String will be a valuable component of recipes throughout the pack. You can craft string with vines, but you may also want to use spiderweb saplings in your bonsai pots. You can use dirt for soil in your bonsai pots, but using coral reef from the ocean floor will increase their speed and drop rate. Ooh. Set your spawn point. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We have coral in our roof. Hmm. So I don't need to go to the ocean floor for that because there's some spawn up there. I wonder if I can just. I'll need an up. Uh, get it. Make an axe. Pickaxe. I wonder if I can do a pickaxe. A wooden one for coral reef. It would make these run faster. Again, I need to put a uh, chest under here. You know what? Let's see. We can make a chest. What do we need for a chest? We need a handsaw. Or a knife. Which we have a knife. So... Okay. chest. Yeah. Here's our first one. Woo. So it'll start putting stuff in there. And then we'll make a second one in a bit. Uh, let's do a furnace. Furnace. And it is just regular cobble. So that's good. That's good. 
furnace. And we'll do you the uh. So now we need to do the purified water. Purified water. So that should have completed my quest. Okay, here's the furnace, spiderweb sapling, and a bed. Definitely gonna be sleeping here shortly. And there's this one, we get a Constantan needle. I'm going to assume that goes in here in the tailor's workshop. So we have a bed. There we go, we set our spawn point. And let's eat. All right, so. Well, that's unfortunate. I only got one back. Mm. Unlucky. Um, I think... I'm trying to decide if I want to put this in the hopping bonsai or if I want to plant it. I think what we'll do is we'll take... take you out and we'll put the string one in there let's make another um, okay so that let's make another chest hi comet lore nice to see you there we go so now we have an apple sapling and a some spider web sapling and we'll get some more trees <laughs> some more wood we're probably going to need more wood um if you need to set your spawn but it isn't nighttime yet activate this quest to change the time oh so we can't set our spawn by just clicking on the bed okay Yeah, that still looks like daylight to me. Ooh, a golden... Oh, no, that's just early. <laughs> Alright, anyway. <clears throat> oh, wait, there we go. Sweet. Alright. Hi, Rocket Pants. Nice to see you. Um, using the work table, you can strip and weave leaves together to create vines. You can then twist and process the vines into string to be used for other recipes. Don't forget to visit the Gill Trade tab to purchase things like high tier artisan tools and or tanks of commonly used fluids. Interesting. So we need a stack of vines. Vines. Trader's Workshop. So, six leaves will give us four. And I put the leaves in here. And did it need something? It needs purified water. Let's do that. So that'll give us 40. And we need more water. Uh, we should make some charcoal. 
Frisk me up. Go, go, go. Thank you. There we go. 64. Let's just use up the water if we can. Um, all right, we got a Bully's Brew, Haste to Water Breathing, Night Vision, ooh. And money, our first bit of money. Great, we're gonna put that in here though. This will be nice when we go exploring, which, I mean, we'll go soonish. <laughs> soonish. Apparently I completed another quest called Bully's Brew somewhere. Um, there. Boons brews can be crafted. They require turbo tubes from rocket squids and compressed leaves. It must not show in JEI. So it says despair not showing. View the uses of either of those ingredients or select the potion icon at the right to view the recipe. Gotcha. So you can't like search for Bully's Brew, you have to search for one of the other things. This, hopefully I'll remember it because this is really awesome. So we'll take, we got five more money. Five more money. Yay. Um, what are we using the string for? Strain power. Aha! Fabric mesh is used in both water strainers and the sluice machine. Water strainers gather resources from the ocean water they are submerged in. The sluice will allow you to sieve ores and other resources from the sand, gravel, and other materials you gather. So I need to make two fabric mesh. Um, yeah. Okay, so that really is our next one. Fabric mesh. And it requires woven cotton and string. The woven cotton is even more string. Do we have any string? Why are you not producing string, Mr. Spider Web Sapling? Huh. That is weird. Because it just said in the quest that you could use it in a hopping bonsai and get string. Is it just like really rare that I would get string? It doesn't make sense that I would be, it would be rare. I'm just gonna let it grow one more time, see if I get some string. But it's been here for a little bit, so I know I'm getting apples. There's a piece of string. Oh, buddy. <clears throat> Looks like we might have to do it this way. don't need any liquid. Okay. Take you. And then to do the mesh again, how many did I need? Four. And it gives me one. So I need to do, I need to do eight woven cloth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then those. Okay. Let 
Wow. We're gonna have to find better food. I wish I could right click on this. Breaking it just... Ugh. Yay, I got another spore. Okay. Good to know there. We're gonna need to improve our food as soon as we can. So we get another needle from that. And in-world crafting or super strain power. This pack is resource intense. As you may have already gathered, recipes require a lot more resources than normal. For that reason, the pack is balanced to give you a lot more resources from strainers to ember quarries or to void miners. Do not hesitate to craft more for later when you come across quests asking for plates, pipes, and other components. It will save you trips back to the crafting table to remake items. Uh, note that not all resources come from strainers or your ember quarry. Some resources require you to manually mine them, at least until you get more capable quarries. Lapis, diamonds, emeralds, and omega ore can be found in the nether. Infinity ore is found on many planets over the void in the end. As you progress, these areas will open up for your exploration. Okay. Good to know. Different other workshops. All right. Um, let's go back to the introduction. There are certain recipes that you can create in world. This means tossing items into fluids, fire, or other options. Try your hand at crafting creosote by placing, by tossing a charcoal chunk in a pool of purified water. Later you will make creosote in a much easier way, but for now you must work with tools available. Prismarine arrows maintain their normal flight speed underwater. Great for hunting sharks. Sharks. Okay. Um. Let's let's get some of this going. <laughs> You can do it. You can do it. There it goes. Alright, so we're gonna need to learn how to do the strainers. Alright, let's see if we can make them. Since they had us make the mesh, I'm gonna wonder if I can actually make the strainers now. Yep, I can make a strainer out of the, the mesh I made in the fabric in there. Um, uses, what do I get out of it? All right. Mm, what are these things? Oh, there's money, I can get money. 
plastic waste. <laughs> of course, the ocean is littered. We get fish for food. Um, I'm going to wonder if that's like skeleton bones, but you, so you can turn bone meal. We can get some more, more arrows. Rat pelt. Okay. Turds. We get poo. Fantastic. Uh, how about you? This one... Does it look like it gets us anything different? Wool. Did I not see wool in the other one? Carrots? I don't think I saw carrots in the other one. Clay? I don't think I saw. Yeah, there's no carrots. There's clay. Okay, so it's good to know that. Did they... How are they intending us to get cobble? Are they intending us to get it through a sluice box or is there a cobble gen, in world cobble gen way? Hmm. I need sticks. Can't do that here. Now, in um, one of the videos I watched, they did one with creosote and water, but then I saw in another one that it broke and it never refixed, so then I'm not sure if it was something that the pack maker did or if it was something that uh, the, the player could have fixed, so I don't know. All right, so we have a dense one. We'll start with that. Let's make ourselves a strainer. So we need a bit more string, I think. Um... Here, purified water and water. Interesting. I can use a knife too. Oh, back and forth, back and forth. All right. Let's make a few of these. And then the strainer needs strain. We need more planks. Is that what that was? Yeah, I need planks. I have planks. Oh, this re recipe requires treated wood when I use a knife. Gotcha. That would be explain this direction. I would need a handsaw, but I can use the creosote in its place. So I think I'm going to need to make the creosote first so that I can do this step. Yup. Okay. Let's um, try to get that charcoal made then. Um, it needs to be a charcoal chunk. Which is five charcoal. And was it purified water? Creo. Purified water. Let's go through some of this. 
That probably will need iron to do that. You can make a juicer probably. That's a little better. Yeah, that's about the same. I don't have bricks yet, but I will. So we'll probably start with a juicer. That'll give us a little bit better. So I need to do three of those. Because we need a little bit better food. Um, okay, so we got the purified water. Oh, fantastic. Now we have creosote and we need that to do the strainer. Now the problem I currently have is that there is water in my trader's workshop right now. Is there a way to take it out? Ooh, we get an acceleration wand. Woohoo! Um. So I'm gonna want to make regular ones. I made a dense one already, so I'm gonna want to make the more open one. I see. Okay. Well, let's see about that one. We need to make another fabric mesh. So we need more string, which means more vines because this is this is slow as mud. Um I mean, at least we're getting some, but it's pretty darn slow. Are those full grown? They are. All right, the string was done in here, right? Yep. Okay, so we have some more string. Just make a containment area for the creosote and empty the bucket into it. Really? But it's not a whole bucket. Here's a question. Oh, it needs a pickaxe. Okay, if I break it, will it... I'm gonna use a... We're gonna be getting cobble soon. Yay! Now I can put it in there. All right. Yeah, the challenge is I'm going to be putting that in there. I'm going to have to... I'm going to use up that creosote. <laughs> I'm going to want to use it up. There's a tooltip. Where? You mean like in here? Oh, okay. Well, we'll look. We'll see you next time. We shall see you next time. <laughs> All right. 
Well, that's nice that these sprouts are now just coming out my ears. Um, that'll, that'll be good. Because right now, all we have are apples. <laughs> so, let's plant you on this next one up here. Alright, so... To make these... I want to make sure I can make several. Does it tell me how much it uses? It uses 500 millibuckets per craft. So I'll be able to make two of these out of my bucket of creosote. So let's make sure we have the supplies to make two. Yes, yes, we need more sticks. Sticks. Um, we have the planks. We have the gears. Yes. Okay, so we do. Let's get that back in there and we'll shift. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, is it? Because I don't have a handsaw. Flint, bone, oh, the, the, the. Can I take you back out? I can. Okay. <laughs> we need to do this if it's the right recipe and we need to do it one more time because um, we need to do two strainers Hmm. All right. Great. So now we should be able to do this recipe. We can make three right away. Woohoo! We'll do that. Um, we will need to do, we've got one dense, we need to make two of these. Which means we need two more of those. Alright. Gonna need more string. We can do one. Oh, this is made in there too. We need do that. We've got that. And then we need the sticks. Alright. So we have one. We just need one more. And that's going to require string that we don't have right now. We'll have to make some in a moment. But I think I'm going to put these down here. Um, there we go. Is there inventory? There is. Okay, so we're going to do you and you. All right, and then let's get, okay, so four string, since this is slow, we need to do leaves, so let's um, put the shears in our inventory. We're going to need another axe shortly. this in here because I don't want to lose it and I have a feeling I would come on all right that's probably gonna be it for this axe Probably won't finish getting all of it oh it did 
All right. And then that was done in this one. Um, and I think it needed purified water. Nope, it was in the trader's workshop with purified water. Okay. Pot is what again? Bricks. So hopefully we'll get some clay soon. And then the next thing, a cutting board would make it even better. And that's a brick as well. We'd be able to do fruit salad, um, which I think is better. Fruit salad. Uh, not really. Uh, it looks like about the same. Applesauce versus um, fruit salad. Apple snow. <laughs> okay. Well, good to know at least that I have options. Uh -huh. To not die. All right. Do that and then go to doing this and then we need to do one, two, three, four and it was this, right? Gosh, I hope I'm and that made the mesh, and then we needed to do strainer you. So we need sticks again. Wish we could switch over to the work shop, the workbench from there. All right. And then down we go. Um, let's grab. These, hey, was able to pick those up nice and fast. That's cool. Uh, let's put you here. And look at the stuff. Hey, we can do some improved. Woohoo. Okay, let's get out here for a moment. <laughs> All right, so it's good to know we got some of that available to us. We're getting stuff. Well, wrong key. All right, so we get food. Hey, the strainer must be submerged completely underwater in order to work. You will find an open landing zone directly under your base where you can draw. Hey, there we go. And place your strainers. Later, you will also use this area to park your seamoth submarine. Your strainer mesh will need to be replaced yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have a submarine. Cool. And we get an upper. Hmm. Just trying to think. How that would that particular thing would help me with the strainer stuff I don't know that's got to be a shark oh and there's another one 
<laughs> Whoa. I'll have to think about why that one and why that. Okay. Sluice tool refilling. Mechanical toolbox. Mechanical toolbox will store your extra artisan tools. Uh, and automatically refill slots in attached tables. Mm -hmm. Mechanical toolbox. Ah, oh, chest, wood, stone, gears. We need stone first. Are we getting any? Yeah. We aren't getting cobblestone, but we're getting stone. All right. We have puffer fish. That's not going to feed us. Where are the regular fish you've promised? 